Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But Mom, why did you think I did it? About that. Bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota... But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey. I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No! I told you! It's Odoroki Man! Oh... Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry, I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid! You're stupid to call your mother stupid! Uh... Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. 
I didn't raise you like that. But... but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart... It didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full-on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, Mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh... Yes, Mom is the best mom in the world. track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. Ah? Uh? I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Date. I'm Ota's friend. Ota's friend? Is that right? I hope you two get along. Oh, Mom. I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. 
So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiancé. Oh, yes! Yes, that's it! <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> 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 Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all nighter. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes, after Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! You witch! There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi? Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. wrong did something happen no everything's fine okay let's go Ota. hey what's this 
Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. 